not claim to be slut shaming and bring girls to God because they are not going to come to God if they have been shamed that way. That is not the right to Christianity. That is not our way to do that. God yes, doesn't sir. want a religion that is forced on the people. That's why He gives us free will. Well, nobody's forcing anybody here. You can listen to my slut shaming That's show. That's judgment. Or you can go to class. You can go to the library. You can do whatever you want. But have you heard of tough love, young lady? Yes, what this is. Tough love. I don't know. Tell you what your Sunday school teacher may not have told you. What your parents may not have told you. That your actions have got you on the path of self. You were driving people away from God by preaching intolerance. Amen. Amen. Guilty. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guilty. 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 Yes, God is not tolerant. God is a holy God. But Jesus is? God. Jesus is God. Yes. You're contradicting yourself. He is Jesus is God the Son, and Jesus does not tolerate sin. Jesus commands us to repent. But Jesus of sin. also says, "Do not get the fleck out of your brother's eye when you still have a larger plank in your own eye." Yes. That's a good point. We are all sinners, and we cannot judge others for their sin while we are continuously sinning ourselves. Let's read that. Matthew seven. You need to help your wife out, man. Matthew 7. She lost his head. <laughs> Oh, you She's love, reading the Bible you here. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine eye, and then you will see clearly to cast the mote out of your brother's eye. So what's that say? First get the sin out of your own life, and then you will see clearly So you get the sin out of your brother's life. Now, I have a confession to make, students. Okay. I have not always been a good 